I'm pleased to bring this morning, or this afternoon, House Bill 1202 Committee. It concerns the ability of a liquor license, licensing authority to reissue an expired alcohol beverage license. Members, this bill flows, uh, the need for the bill flows from the floods we experienced here in Colorado in the fall of 2013. There was a tasting room in one of the flooded out communities whose business was washed off of the mountain and the renewal notice was in the desk that was also washed off the mountain. So there's a lot to handle when your business has been just flooded away. And one of the things that didn't get done in time was the renewal of their liquor license. So two days past the, de the 90 day deadline, they had a senator sitting in the governor's office um, um, arguing for their case. But there's others that weren't quite that lucky. And if they miss the 90 day deadline, they have to go clear back through the whole process of getting a liquor license. And part of that is the needs and desires process. And it's a very expensive process. And so this bill is just, um, it's going to give them an extra 90 days in case some act of God happens and they are unable to do it within the first 90 days. Mr. Rice, thank you again for being here. Please uh, give us your testimony. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Uh, uh, I'm gonna, David Rice with the Tavern League of Colorado. Uh, I would urge the committee support of this bill. We feel it's a, a, a good bill, provides options to both the local government as well as licensees. And I can tell you from experience in my own county, where I live, Weld County, we had a similar situation, not necessarily due to the flood, but we had a family member in one of our local restaurants that did the bookkeeping pass away. And when that family member passed away, the whole issue about getting renewals in on time, they kind of, kind of got lost in that institutional memory of that uh, particular person. Uh, they failed to renew their license in a timely manner within that 90 day period, and then we have to go through the whole pro new, new or not license process again. So aside from other floods and that type of thing that, that may exist, we felt that this bill again provides licensing authorities as well as licensees some additional options without having to, uh, to close down. We would urge the support of this bill. I would also, uh, let the committee know that this bill is an outgrowth of the uh, work done by the Department of Revenue's Liquor Enforcement Division. They impaneled work groups to talk about a lot of issues last year related to alcohol beverage law where they felt there was needed changes and consensus among the liquor industry along with government. And this particular bill is the outcome of uh, those meetings. So again, I would urge the, uh, urge the committee to support this bill and we will be to be supported on our end. Okay, uh, questions for Mr. Wright. Thank you, um, Mr. Chair. Uh, thanks for being here, Mr. Wright. Can you can you tell me? I was just looking at, or, or maybe the bill sponsor could, uh, uh, the technical or me mechanical defects in the fiscal vote, um, where it says the bill does not indicate to which funds late fees are to be credited. Mr. Wright, has that answered? Yeah, yeah. Has, has that been answered yet? Mr. Wright. Mr. Chairman, I don't know if it has. Again, I believe uh, Patrick Moroni from the Liquor Enforcement Division probably could answer that. I do know that there was a question brought up. Uh, my recollection was, is I, I believe there may have been an amendment put in place uh, to fix that, but I'll let Mr. Moroni testify. He can provide more exact testimony. Okay. Additional questions for Mr. Wright? Seeing none, our next witness will be Jamie McAvoy. Mr. McAvoy, welcome back to our committee. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, uh, Senator Woods, I'm very excited to be here in support of Senate, excuse me, House Bill 1202. My name is Jean McAvoy. I'm the executive director of the Colorado Licensed Beverage Association. The majority of our members are liquor stores, but we also have on-premise members as well. Uh, we had a couple situations that came about last year where for a variety of reasons the deadline was missed from a couple of our liquor stores probably the most prominent one was the one in grand junction colorado uh, the gentleman was filed the application or excuse me filled out the application left it on his desk uh, went to deal with some family in a foreign country and when he came back it was brought to his attention that he did miss the deadline. And for those of you who are not familiar with the liquor business, the worst time in the world 
to be closed is during the Christmas holiday. And that's what happened to this gentleman. So we would much rather uh, deal with, uh, we'd, we'd like our members to file timely and the majority of them do. But when things happen, it's nice to have a situation where you can get back into business very quickly, get the reissued license and uh, go on about your business. So we would appreciate the support of uh, the committee on passing this bill forward. And we thank uh, Senator Woods for bringing it forward. I want to thank you. I want to thank you on behalf of the committee for uh, the thousands of uh, small businesses that you represent um, across Colorado and the thousands of employees that they have. Um, I know that the small business people that run liquor stores sacrifice every day to keep their employees uh, employed. Uh, and we appreciate all that you're doing to restore our economy. So, uh, on behalf of the business committee, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We and appreciate then, that. Um, we have questions for Ms. McAdoo. All right. Well, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Um, Mr. Hoover, Nick Hoover. Mr. Hoover, welcome back. Thank you again, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. Again, Nick Hoover with the Colorado Restaurant Association. Uh, I don't want to belabor the points that have already been made by the people that testified before me. Um, hopefully, no or few licensees in the future actually have to go through this problem um, because letting a license expire and having to go through a new license the way it is right now um, could take anywhere between two to three months. It's extremely costly. There's lost revenue to the establishment. There's lost wages to the employees of the establishment and lost tax dollars to the community and to the state as a whole. Uh, 